This is Wilson Morales from BlackFin.com talking to the cast and creator of Claws, which is appearing currently on TNT. Talk to me about the inception of this series and hopefully we're, what it's about. I, you know, I didn't create it. I, I came on as the showrunner. Elliot Lawrence um, wrote the pilot script. He did an amazing job. It, he had never been to a nail salon. He um, had visited Florida. He liked dealing with female problems and, you know, women's issues. And it all melded together. And so when I read the script, I just was blown away. And when I got on the project about a year and a half, a year and change ago, we started talking about the cast and how do we get a cast that pops. And the journey began with finding all of these amazing people, some who you've seen in huge work and some who you know are up and coming. Based on the first episode, each one of your characters is so different from what we've seen you guys do differently. So talk to me about when you first got the script and the character you want that they had you play and what were your first thoughts? I mean, when I first got the script and they told my, my manager told me, um, look at the role of Quiet and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Uh, only because it, 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 the, the entire script popped and I was um, in love with it completely. I was like, this is amazing, but this is the real deal. I don't know that, that I'm, I, I'm going to get cast for it. He goes, well, I mean, uh, work on it and go in anyway. Uh, and I, I called my acting coach and she's like, what do you think? And she's like, oh, you got this. Um, so I, I just, you know, uh, conceived of women who I knew, who I grew up around, and I know that everyone knows a woman like this. Who, who, who I can embody. And I worked on it with her. And, and the trick is like realizing it without words. And in the audition, there was a monologue in there. Um, uh, uh, but I, I turned it in, and to my absolute shock, they liked it. And I had to you know, go through a series of processes until the show that I was doing before, Devious Mates, actually didn't come back. And then it, it became a reality, and I was thrilled. Of oh, yourself? Yeah, you know, I've played. Uh, the girlfriend, the wife, the cute girl, and so reading the script and Virginia's character, I was like, whoa, I can have so much fun, I can really dig deep and create her, you know, and even when we when we started shooting the pilot, before we started shooting the pilot, I was like, Janine, I want blonde hair, like, I don't, I, you know, I, I, I didn't want to be Karuchi, I didn't want to be the girl that everybody saw and everything else, you know, so like, yeah. I fought for this blonde hair, the right blonde hair, the right blonde hair, <laughs> and the dirty roots, that like yeah. Asian look, because I'm yeah. half Asian, mm -hmm. half black in the show, and, and, you know, even down to like my nails, uh, my outfit, I was just able to just do so much, and bring so much life and color, and it's a lot of fun. Even though we're dealing with the lives of all the characters, the salon itself is a character itself, as well as you know all the different techniques from nails and stuff like that. How much of that is incorporated in each episode? I mean, the salon is sort of the, like the base, the home base. That it's it's where the family dinner would be on a show. Um, it's in every episode because that is sort of a nail salon is where women come together and it's almost therapy. It's where they tell their stories, they tell their secrets. They don't mind talking about their husbands or their partners or their children or the crazy thing they did. So that's sort of the heart of it. And then everything else kind of comes out of that. And then when you, the other cast members are here, but talk to me about working with Nisi and Carrie and, you know, just establishing that chemistry between the four of you. We had, um, I think I was the absolute last one to get cast, but we had a table read the next day, and we had <laughs> that like the next day I, I I got the call to to be cast, and the next day we had a table read, and it was absolute instant chemistry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and so and and uh, uh, word to God, uh, uh, it's been chemistry, and it's been like that nothing but love ever since. Mm -hmm. It's really great to work with these women, and, and Nisi Nash is Mama Bear, and she takes absolute care of all of us. And Jen, in real life as in well. In real life yeah. as well. Yes. Um, and, and Jen Lyon is just a sweetheart and her, her closest ally. And Carrie is, is a consummate professional and an absolute doll. And I'm moody and temperamental. <laughs> <laughs> but amazing. And she's, and she's the ingenue and the newbie who's just kind of like, really is, you know, uh, how do you do this? And here's that. And just com completely wide open and, and disposed to just like learn and be a part of all the action. So, and, and we're just all super, super close and take care of each other. And we just, none of us will let anybody go down. Okay. We're good to go. Thanks. Thanks for